Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for news from India, America, Canada, Punjab, and Gujarat in English, Punjabi, and Gujarati, with a list of well-established businesses and resources that you may need. I am Sangram Singh Rathore, and today's headlines are: In India, former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee has been cremated with full state honors, and Kerala's most savage monsoon in a century has killed 324 people. In America, a six-store owner has been stabbed to death. and president donald trump's veterans day parade has been cancelled in punjab the state has announced to pay 10 crore relief for flood ravaged kerala and cm amrinder singh has sought technological assistance to fight drug menace stay tuned to indiantimesdaily.com and i'll be back with all the news that's important for you from india america and punjab welcome back to indian times daily the top 10 headlines from india are Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee was cremated with full state honors at Smriti Sthal on the banks of the Yamuna in Delhi. His body was shifted from his residence to the BJP headquarters earlier in the day where scores of leaders paid tribute to him. He had passed away after a prolonged illness. Kerala's most savage monsoon in a century has killed 324 people over the last 9 days. A fresh rain alert has been issued for the battered state. Desperate non-resident Keralites from Australia, the US and UK have made fervent pleas to authorities through television channels seeking help for their dear ones. Income tax collection in the country stood at a record rupees 10.03 lakh crore during 2017 to 18 the CBDT has disclosed. The IT department added 1.06 crore new return filers during 2017 to 18 and aims to add 1.25 crore new filers for the current year. The CBI has raided 12 places in Bihar including former minister Manju Verma's residence. This is in connection with its probe into the Muzaffarpur shelter home rape cases. Verma resigned on August 8th following allegations that Brajesh Thakur, the main accused in the case, had links with her husband. An army jawan has been killed in an encounter with militants in Kupwara district of Jammu and Kashmir. As the security forces were carrying out searches, the militants opened fire on them resulting in injuries to one soldier. Unknown miscreants allegedly assaulted Swami Agnivesh near the BJP headquarters in Delhi. The incident occurred while the social activist was on his way to pay respects to former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Agnivesh alleged that the attackers were BJP workers. A section of Air India pilots have threatened to stop operations if their flying allowances dues are not paid immediately. The loss making carrier has been facing cash paucity since the government stopped funding the airline following its decision to privatize it last year. Teen cyclist Esso Alban has scripted history by claiming India's first ever medal, a silver at the UCI Junior Track Cycling World Championships in Switzerland. The 17-year-old from Andaman and Nicobar finished just 0.01 seconds behind gold medalist Tasni in the thrilling photo finish of a race. Jammu and Kashmir ranks second across India in the tally of road accidents per 10,000 vehicles with an average of over 900 deaths every year in the last 5 years. Sikkim and Madhya Pradesh are the two other states with the highest number of road accidents. Actor Anil Kapoor who was last seen in the film Fanny Khan penned down an emotional message on Twitter as he remembered former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He posted a photo of a letter Vajpayee had written to him in which he had congratulated the actor on all the success he had garnered. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from America and Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from America are A six-store owner has been stabbed to death in New Jersey in a third incident targeting the community in the country in the last 3 weeks. Tarlok Singh was found dead in his East Orange suburb store with apparent stab wounds. President Donald Trump has said that he would attend a November celebration in Paris marking the end of World War 1 after a military parade planned in Washington was postponed. The Veterans Day military parade scheduled to happen in 2018 has been cancelled. The Pentagon has said that China's military has expanded its bomber operations in recent years while likely training for strikes against the US and its allies. Pentagon has estimated that China's defense spending exceeded 119 billion dollars in 2017. Children deported from Mexico and the US to Central America face violence, stigma and deprivation, worsening the root causes of irregular migration, the UNICEF has warned. Deportations have intensified poverty, extreme violence and lack of opportunity. The first Indian American to serve in the US Senate, Kamala Harris, will make her first endorsement in an Iowa campaign. The California Democrat will endorse Didier Desjardins for Iowa Secretary of State, 
first black nominee for statewide office from a major political party. An Indian IT manager has been convicted of sexually assaulting a sleeping woman aboard a Detroit-bound flight in the US. Prabhu Ramamurthy, who worked for an IT company for over two years, will be sentenced on December 12th. A US veteran of Iraq war who killed five people during a shooting spree in the arrivals area of a Florida airport last year has been sentenced to life in a federal prison. Esteban Santiago attacked at the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport on January 6, 2017. The Vatican, in its first response to a damning report by a US grand jury on sexual abuse of children by priests in Pennsylvania, has expressed shame and sorrow. US Roman Catholic bishops have called for a Vatican-led probe backed by lay investigators into allegations. Several players from the NFL did not take the field during the playing of national anthem as they continued to stage silent protests against racial injustice and police brutality in the US. Last week, Malcolm Jenkins and Devante Bosby of Philadelphia Eagles had raised their fist. President Donald Trump and ex-presidents mourned the death of music legend Aretha Franklin who passed away at the age of 76. President George W. Bush had honoured Franklin with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honour in 2005. I'll be back still logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are CM Amrinder Singh has announced Rs 10 crore immediate relief for flood ravaged Kerala where 106 people died on a single day. The state has plunged deeper into misery with hospitals facing shortage of oxygen and fuel stations running dry. CM Amrinder Singh has sought technological assistance to fight drug menace in the state. Singh has reportedly written to Google CEO Sundar Pichai and Facebook chief Mark Zuckerberg mentioning that the internet is full of content about discovering newer ways of sourcing banned substances. Indian cricketer turned politician Navjot Singh Sidhu is in Pakistan to attend the swearing in ceremony of his friend Imran Khan as Pakistan's Prime Minister. He said that Khan should come forward in the peace initiative between the two neighbours. A cabinet subcommittee will probe the alleged leak of Justice Sanjeet Singh Commission report before it was tabled in the Vidhan Sabha. This involved the role of police officers behind Kotkapura and Bhebal Kalan firing incidents which was followed by the Bargari sacrilege incident. The CBI has questioned Firozpur IG Gurinder Dhillaw and conducted a search at his Patiala residence. This is following a complaint by Shiv Kumar Sharma who is under investigation for framing a patwari. SAD President Sukhbir Singh Badal has rejected a report of the sacrilege committee. He claimed that Punjabis will not let the Congress and bogus Jathedars weaken the SAD and rest control of the SGPC. Action has reportedly been taken against police officials for allegedly opening fire at a mob protesting sacrilege incidents in Kotkapura. However, the FIR registered last week in connection with the 2015 incident still stands against unidentified police officials. A BGP gunman from Fagwada, Som Prakash, has been critically injured after he was hit by a bullet fired by his own gun. Nirmal Kumar was rushed to a private hospital where he is being treated. A gunman of BGP legislator from Fagwada, Som Prakash, has been critically injured after he was hit by a bullet fired from his own gun. Nirmal Kumar was rushed to a private hospital where he is being treated. The NGT has held officers of Punjab Forest Department responsible for illegal felling of 24,777 eucalyptus, shisham and kikar trees to widen the Bisdo Ap Canal. The 800 km long canal was sanctioned during the SAD BGP rule in 2016. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-American businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Wishing all the viewers of Indian Times Daily a very happy Independence Day. Jai Hind. Hi, this is Nakash Aziza. And I would like to wish all the viewers of Indian Times Daily a very, very happy Independence Day. Take care and God bless you.
दोस्तों दिस इज डॉक्टर आदर्श भान कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम शिकागो जॉइनिंग हैंड्स विद इंडियन टाइम्स डेली इन विशिंग इंडियंस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दिल से अ वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे नमस्कार Hey guys this is Jubin Nortyal and I'm here to wish you a very happy independence day to all the viewers of Indian Times Daily Hi guys this is Shashwat Singh and i'd like to wish all the viewers of indian times daily a very happy independence day jai hind